Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video I am joined by the Martine, the Inadequans. What's up uh, my friend? Welcome to the channel. I am the Martine, thank you Yasser. Excited <laughs> to be here and to talk about uh, potential next moveset updates. It's expected move update, right? So we're going to expect what the how the meta should be uh, should look like for the upcoming seasons, not just one season because we have some cool ideas. I have some cool ideas. I don't know about Martine. I think he has some crazy ideas. Uh, basically, basically, uh, what we're gonna th go through in this video, like we're gonna provide feedback based on the recent update, which makes sense. Okay, let's do, let's move to cool ideas. Okay, how to balance the meta. No, okay, we have some cool ideas. Some of them from my ideas. Some of them is Martin's ideas, aka inadequate ones. So first issue, I am someone who doesn't have Shadow Canto Meadowak, mm -hmm. and the reason that I don't enjoy playing GBL in this season. Is because I don't have Meadowak. Mm -hmm. I know when if I have it, I would be complaining about something else. I know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now it feels like every time I see someone two shielding Kwak, I'm like, okay, there is no reason for me to compete because I cannot do that win con two shield Kwak for the win. So I feel like Mod Slab needs a check. Do you agree or no? Uh, yes and no. Yes, it's too good in its current state, probably. Uh, ground. The, the thing is, maybe not the stats is too overpowered. It's the the, the fact combination. that ground ground is such a good offensive type. Ground is the best offensive type. Steel is the best defensive type. So imagine giving steel a baiting move or a hard hitting fast move. There is a reason why bullet punch is a bad move. As, as an example, metal claw. There is a reason why it's a bad move. It's just yeah. an OP typing. Ground is the opposite of steel. It's the best offensive type. So I was thinking because, like, as an example, if you have hack mo into Kwak. Mm -hmm. Dragon Tail used to be an OP move. Now, mm -hmm. if you have that matchup, any Dragon Tail Pokemon in the Great League against Kwak, you're going to lose because of the pacing, not because of the stats or anything else. So, yeah. I was looking at what could be a solution, and I think you suggested something which is buff a flyer. My mm -hmm. solution would be nerf the damage by one. Yeah, possibly. So the reason why I also said no is because I'm just not counting on it for this season. Uh, maybe after August. But I feel like they just set the stage for the meta for the whole play Pokemon season. That they're not going to revert their biggest changes right away. Um, I do like your point to buff a flyer. So one of the issues that I personally have with team building. I'm competing in Stuttgart in two weeks. Um is exactly what flying type Pokemon do I bring? A lot of senses or Azumo just hard check those most of the time. Yes. And that makes it difficult to check KWAC as well, unless you go with a grass type Pokemon, but you know, it's a poison type meta, so that's not ideal either. It just becomes RPS really quickly if you want to check specific picks. Okay, so here are some flying Pokemon that loads fly in Arctic ones. Mm -hmm. Antropius, Galarian Moltres, Charizard, Lugia, Mandibuzz, Ferro. Mm -hmm. Out of these, uh, Fair actually has fly already. Okay, it has a fly and it has a drill run, I think. Yeah, it's missing one thing, which is the fast move. Correct. Which we will be talking about after. But now, out of these, would you like to see? Would you like to see fly on any, any of these or none of these? Yeah, Remember Lugia. that Lugia is just a Pokemon that keep getting punished because of Great League yep. Pokemon's. Yep. And exactly this, why this Pokemon is supposed to be extremely good in Master League, but it's not because every time they want to nerf Sky Attack, Lugia gets a small nerf to the point where like Lugia is not usable. So, if we get Fly Lugia, I am hundred percent sure that we will see Lugia in Great League as well. I don't know. Again, Azumarill hard checks it, right? So it just makes it hard to make a case for Lugia. On top of that, I don't think it's the Sky Attack nerf per se that keeps Lugia away from Master League right now. It started with Necrozma and then with Evelto getting buffed Sucker Punch that makes Lugia even worse to use right now. So it's just like multiple issues that has to deal with. I would love to see Lugia being uh, Meta usable again. in Great League, but uh, you're also getting accessibility problem then. Um, for Charizard, I wouldn't like it. Charizard already Had has a really good day. moveset pull with, with Dragon Claw and Blast Burn. Like you need a bait attack on a fragile Pokemon and you have a hard hitting nuke. I like that for Blast Burn. I mean, they not playing attack, so exactly. Yeah, that that so is an issue for they it. need to give a Shadow Claw clone to Charizard, or just give it a Shadow Claw, maybe. 
Like, like yeah, this but... Pokemon being meta will never hurt anything because it's a frail Pokemon. You can literally fast move it down if you, if it comes to that point. Yeah, don't tell it to a mind joke. He he hates Charizards. <laughs> I mean, doesn't he use a slash? I I keep giving him a hard time. First on LESC broadcast, now I'm doing it here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Galadian Moltres will fly. Is that crazy or good or bad? Uh because Galadian Moltres, it, it, let's be honest, you just sucker punch and brave bird. It's um in its current meta. I think fly will be too much just because um, Sucker Punch is already so good. That That's why I'm a little bit hesitant with Galarian Moltres. Maybe if Sucker Punch was a, is a little bit less good, so fly may make it on par with Mandibus if uh, Galarian Moltres were to be nerfed at some point. Right now, I think Ancient Power might just be good enough to, you know, make good Moltres not... Because if you have fly, there's no drawback to throwing an, a really hard-hitting attack, right? At least Brave I mean, Bird... Flame has that. Yeah, Talonflame has the problem of uh, being a really annoying typing right now. Yeah. Because of Relegator. Uh, yeah. So, I, 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 of course, Talonflame, same same story, same story, absolutely. And in in the current in the correct position, Talonflame is absolutely broken. Um, yes. I, I've used Talonflame every time I get one incinerate and a bit a lead. I just win the game. But the problem is, it doesn't work at high MMR games. People will not yeah. give me that advantage. Exactly. Um, yeah, out of these Pokemon, I would say that I would like Galar Moltres to fly the most. Um, Mandibus, I don't know, man. Like, you make a bulky Pokemon too strong, it becomes so difficult to take out and too meta, right? Then you, people are going to bring dedicated guns to that. And that's gonna and, 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 that, and that's going to that's gonna make the meta RPS. Right. Um, exactly. Same with Tropius, bulky. Has Leaf Blade already super busted. Um, the only thing that does hold Tropius back is Air Slash. Air so Slash, yeah. A fly might be compatible with it as long as his fast attack remains uh, bad. Air Slash. I mean, that, that's a good point. Okay, now now you said you want Azoti to be nerfed. I have a solution for that, Martin. But are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Thunder Shock buff. Give Thunder Shock the Poison Sting treatment, and that will make Marpeko able to one shot Azu <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> okay, yeah, our move wasn't good enough for, for Marpeko. But, um, I don't think I don't... there is anything in the meta that can benefit from Thunder Shock buff in the Great League other than Marpeko in Great League and Billy Bolt in Ultra League. The thing is. With Electrotype attacks, you might forget that everything that has Thunder Shock, or pretty much everything that has Thunder Shock, also has access to Volt Switch now, and that's why we don't see that as much. But if you make Thunder Shock really strong, I'm just looking at a list right now. There's the Dena. There yes, is, the Dena. Uh, the Dena will actually be good because they keep elect giving the Dena like so many charge moves every season, and they are missing the main point. Thunder Shock needs the the Poison Sting treatment. Magneton might actually become more viable. Uh, the Raichu, maybe something. Raikou, um, Unovian Stunfisk, Togodomaru, yeah. uh, Zapdos, and Circuit 3 for uh, Maslik as well. I, look, I don't think that it will be uh, an a solution. Update. It, it, it will be good. No, no, I think it will be good. I think that Electrotypes do need some more love. So, do you think yeah. that's something that we hope to get, or like you don't want to see? Be honest. Yeah, I would. I would uh, not be opposed to see this. Yes. Okay. So Niantic buff Thunder Shock. Give it the the, the poison sting treatment. Okay. Thunder. Um, the, the electric Pokemon was part of the max out update announcement. Uh, we're talking about toxicity, right? It's electric yeah. poison, so there is no favorability. Just, just to be clear, before we go into speculations. Um, because a lot of people think I do. I actually don't know uh, what the moveset updates are going to be. So everything I do say is out of speculation. Yes. Nadequence does not know. And we talked about this. Like, okay, he doesn't know. And that's why he's here. If he, he's, if he knows, he wouldn't be here. Because this move is about speculation. What we should get in the future. And everything we mention here, you should be hoarding, by the way. I'm doing this 
first for myself because one day someone what someone once told me like what would you do if they buffed mud slap I, I i told them they will never buff it again because they buffed it once and that's why yeah. they don't have kwak and then you send them the link watch my video <laughs> <laughs> like, watch, this is why I need to watch my video. Not, not even going to answer the question, <laughs> just send the video. Exactly. <laughs> and if someone asks you, you just send them this video. Now, another solution to nerf Azu, okay? This might be something you might not like, you know? Fight fire with fire. Mm -hmm. Metal claw buff. We get a metal claw buff, it wasn't enough. The problem with metal claw buff now, if they buff the damage by one, that's literally a bullet punch. So why would they do that? If you buff the energy by one, that will make it a Vine Whip clone. And Shadow Empoleon, which does wall the poisons and the fairies, can become meta. But in, um, So what do you think? So Bullet Punch, I believe, is 3 DPT. It's slightly better. I'm actually a big fan of Metal Claw buff. Um, it makes some Pokemon that now rely that are okay but just rely on something completely different yes to be viable but Necrozma. they already are okay to use if you think of a polyon like waterfall and polyon of course not not matter right now yes but it's it's viable um dialga has dragon breath but hey if you want metal claw maybe it could be a cool niche into like fairy type pokemon yes um extra draw relies on mud slap maybe you can make it more uh flexible with metal claw same for ferrothorn yeah, um, Ferathon is like my, is the main one actually. It's not Empoleon. When I was thinking about this, I think Ferathon was my main point. Like, I need this Pokemon because it's a, it's a gra it's a still a grass Pokemon. So even if you are into a, a, a situation where like they resist, the, we're talking about the water the ground because they resist mm -hmm. uh, the steel type. You can still one shot them with the ground type move. And as an example, now <laughs> Ferathon lose the two to Shadow Kwak. Yeah, it does. It does. It's uh, it's stupid. It's a stupid. Um, it it can actually force its way through many <laughs> Pokemon. <but laughs> it's nice. just, it's it's a uh, it's an interesting pick. I actually don't think it's super overpowered in Show Six right now. Everyone's pretty much prepared, but it has some stupid matchups. I think one issue with Metal Claw is uh, the Alga Red Steel. Red Steel. Oh boy, Red Steel's a problem. That that's why I don't think you can ever make Metal Claw. Uh, too good unless you introduce big red steel counters you know why or... i hate playing registeel there is one specific matchup which is a drapion in the two shield where like one zap does not finish the game but by the time i get to three zaps i need a fourth one because the lock on does no damage so if they give it middle claw that will fix my solution i will always use double registeel in ultra league have you seen rice versus arrow in Lugo? yes yeah, uh, even what he tried Aria, to two shield. It's, <laughs> it's not even that great at two shields. It was stupid. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> I used Shadow A slash uh, because I was sick of Ariados and Ariados can force the two one, no, the two zero, I think, into into A slash. Yeah. Uh, but into Registeel, they can never do that. So I like that there is a Pokemon that they can never do to flip a situation, but they can't flip. But by the time you get to like Registeel gets really low to the point where you're like, wait, this is not even a counter anymore. Exactly. Like the, the less the less shields there are, the better Reggie is. But the more shields there are, the worse Reggie is. Even into a freaking poison type with resistant damage only. Okay, so we talked about those those solutions. Now moving to the crazy ideas and added ones. Hear me out. I yeah. call them hear me out because they are a bit crazy. The moment I tell you, you might you might want to punch me in the face. So like, hear me out, please. So take a seat. And now number one. Psywave Hypno. Look how many games you flip. Cloud Sire, hey. Cancelia, Diggitsby, Dot Spots, Finale Gator, Greninja, Jump Luff, Talon. Sire? With, with confusion? <laughs> yes, you lose Cloud Sire with confusion. You need Ice Punch for that. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. Okay. But you have uh, to do some... I think you need to do some shenanigans. So I don't think... If, I don't know if this is viable because it has to be a transferred Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 9 and then in Gen 9 you can teach it. I don't know what that... It's, what can that be translated into Pogo? Or that? How can they do that in Pogo? So um, the problem is... Um, and I cannot confirm this, but this is in line with pretty much everything. If it doesn't learn it in the main series... 
it won't be able to learn it in the it does learn Pokemon it in Go. the main series gen 9 so i that's why i'm saying i don't know how they do it if they do it it will be something that you have to grind hypno again which mean you have to grind shadow hypno again so it's like is that uh sword and shields because i don't see it in the scarlet and violet decks uh look up pulbapedia pulbapedia i'm looking on serbi let me see hypno does that have sorry here no sorry here either I, I don't know if it's if it will learn that. Okay, so in the the way to do it in the main series game is that you have to transfer the Hypno f to the main series game or something like that. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And I don't know how is that supposed to translate into Pogo because usually when when something when there is a shenanigans you need to do to get the to, to, to get the move that means in Pogo if it ever happens it won't be TMable or Elite TMable. Okay. Um, I mean, look, if it has Psywave, it would be a great addition, right? Because Hypno is has a really versatile moveset. Yes. And that, that is what I do like about it. Right now, Hypno is just a little bit forgotten. We, we saw the LAIC. Yeah. Uh, it was we... like put into five Pokemon and still got absolutely clapped. Yeah, I saw it. Like, it's supposed to be a KOAC answer, but it wasn't a KOAC answer. You see this, right? It doesn't even beat Clotsire. Yeah, it doesn't beat Clotsire. <laughs> oh, dude, I see it. it. It doesn't learn it in Gen 9 uh, and 8. But in Gen 1, you have TM46 Psywave, which you can teach to Hypno. Okay. That means you can learn it. Yeah. Okay. Another yeah, idea here that's... we have from an ad Quince himself. Lapras with Icicle Spear, Sparkling Area. So what does Sparkling Area do better than Surf, uh, an ad Quince? Can you teach the Pepegas? So first off... Um... You put the comparison here between regular Lapras with oh Surf Skull Bash with Shadow Lapras? Yeah, let me fix that one second. Okay. Shadow. Battle. Okay. Oh, there isn't that much of a difference, actually. This is the only difference. Okay. Um... So, it's not exactly specific matchups that I'm looking for with uh, Lapras. What I would like to do is to give it a more viable moveset pool. And from there, you can choose what function you want to give it. I think Skull Bash might actually be still good, especially with, if you have Ice Spear and Skull Bash. Uh, into like Dugong, for example. Yeah. So that is kind of the idea behind Lapras. You could also have give it Water Gun to be better into A Slash. Um, okay. If you have Ice Shard, Ice Skull Spear, yeah. you could also be better into Grass type. If you Pokemon. have Water Gun, Ice Skull, Ice Sickle Spear, Skull Bash, it's even scarier into Azua as well. Yeah. So it's more the diversity of Lapras. It's yeah. And maybe maybe that's uh, ironic coming from uh, me because I, I, I almost know charge TMs. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're but, trying to say. Basically, it's not going to be. Uh, okay, this is PV Pog, this is The Sims, this is why it's better. It's going to be more of a flexible Pokemon to use that is mm -hmm. bulky, decent, and can pressure lots of Pokemons. Exactly. So let's say Lepros becomes meta, and Ice Cold Spear for Sparkling Area is actually in, is a busted moveset, actually. Yeah. But you, as anti meta player, decide to play Skull Bash instead. You can defeat Lepros in the mirror and also opposing Dugong. The Dugong. That one. is kind of deep. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the idea behind uh, the whole Lapras. Oh, we talk exactly. Uh, okay, I I like the idea of like having a flexible Pokemon that can dance around, and you can always stall the matchup, stall the swap if you, if needed as well. Stall the swap, but also adapt to your team, to your team weaknesses. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're talking about situation where like a Cloud side situation, but better because Cloud side like when you try to adapt, you don't stone edge EQ or sludge bomb yeah. eq and in the city in the lapras situation you can be even more flexible than that oh exactly. that's that's good to see in in, in in tournaments to be honest like oh this guy is bringing this lapras instead of this lapras yeah. uh i myself are always like fan of solid the meta lock into the meta changes because i feel like elam lost the game because lost uh the what was the tournament he lost to wadaj when wadaj had chestnut uh elite yeah with the drop yield. Yeah, when Wadash played Elite in the finals. Yeah. 
yeah, in that tournament with Ash was uh, sorry, Elon was trying to adapt with the Claude side, and he ended up getting punished because his Claude didn't have a sludge, and he ended up getting swept by Chestnut, which is not even a meta Pokemon. Yep. Okay, next one is a bit crazy. Uh, and when I said it, I think Home Slice Henry said, I hope someone step on your toe. Uh, it's Psy Wave Muto. And I, uh, I need this. I want this. I would love to see this as well. Because the problem with the Muto in Master League is that you have to throw two Psy Strike against everything. One Psy Strike, the Psycho Cut does not do any damage. So either give it Psy Wave or but give Psycho Cut the Poison Sting treatment. Like, look at these matchups. Can you imagine that Muto lose to Togekiss? Or Groudon, yeah. or Kyogre, or even Lando, or Palkia, or the Dragonite, or the Dragonite, because Psycho Cut just doesn't add up. I thought you win, Togekiss. So, is this the one or two shields? Uh, the one. I'm assuming this is straight side strike. Okay. Um, I think you won the Winter Togekiss if you Ice Beam and then you Psycho Cut down. I'm pretty sure you win the one shields, but maybe not. Um, either way. This might be the two it's, then. It's it's difficult to justify this. You're defeating Giratina Altered, <laughs> dealing straight super effective damage with Shadow Claw. No, when I, when I was reading the stuff you beat, I I, I pretend this doesn't exist to try to like yeah. you know like spread my <laughs> propaganda. It's like okay, hopefully he doesn't see this. <laughs> doesn't have a comment. <laughs> um. It honestly, it's difficult to justify. I get where you're coming from. I do think Mewtwo has just fallen to the background. Yes, it's just ah, with Sucker Punch being so good now. I don't think there's much to save Mewtwo. You can give it Psywave. There's still Evelto. What are you gonna do about that? You just die still. Exactly. Um, there's maybe there's still Necrozma. Someday Alga. Um, I just don't think that for now it's a season of Mewtwo. And if Dark types go away again, kind of, maybe you can see more play with it. It's just the problem with Mass League right now is that the fairy type Pokemon countering Eveltal are straight up bad. Xerneas has Geomancy and is actually a war, war snarl. Yeah. So it really relies on Moonblast. Uh, Close Combat is a really good charge attack set, but the, the fast attack is just bad. Zacian, quick attack Zacian is horrible. Bad, Zacian, bad Zacian is horrible. Like, like exactly. the matchup into Rhyperia, you just cry as a Zacian. And then. The the most used counter right now for dark types, bro, it's Primarina Pre with 3600 CP. It is, it's actually laughable. Yes. You laugh at this. It's 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 a joke. I still refuse to pull the Primarina because I'm like, it's 3600 CP Pokemon. It's not supposed to beat 5000 CP Pokemons. Oh, it does. It does. Yes. But it, it does. Exactly. Does. Okay, ne moving to the next one. Uh, I don't know how reliable this would be uh, or how, but remember that we mentioned Galade and Moltres need a buff? There is a Pokemon that is not as good as Galade and Moltres and can be as good, which is Bombarder. Bombarder doesn't have Sucker Punch right now. It has Payback, Fly, and I think Brave Bird. I'm not sure about, about the Brave Bird, but you have Fly, Payback, and Wing Attack now. It doesn't have Sucker Punch. But if you get, give it Sucker Punch, it will be able to flip lots of matchups, such as Zygarde, Tenta, Nidoqueen, Cresselia, and Ultra League. I don't know about the Great League, though. So, if you give this Sucker Punch, it's just an inferior Galarian Moltres. Because Galarian Moltres has about 200 more stat distribution, it's just bulkier. But um, this thing has Fly. But... True, you're right. On the other hand, though, um, I do like it as a substitute as well. Yeah. For Galarian Moltres. So accessible. I'm a big fan of this Pokemon, right? I, I got a good one now. I like this Pokemon. It's fragile, it's not overpowered. I, yeah. I would I would like to see something better on this. Like either wing attack buff back or give it does learn suck punch? I don't even know actually. It does. Well give it sucker punch, uh, Hanky. Yeah, give give Bombard a sucker punch, please. <laughs> yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be great. Okay, next one. Uh, I it was suggested by an adequance. I looked up this. I think lots of people are trying to say buff Peck. Because Peck will give some Pokemons that people already have built a new dimension. As an example, Peck currently 3 DPT and 2.5 EBT, which is a bad air slash, which is already a bad move. So you can imagine a bad of a bad move. What would that be? 
And you said not a quest, it will buff Altaria, Dratrex, Feral, Chatter, Talonflame, Rufflet. Why would you want a pick buff? Right now, flying is hardly resisted. Yeah. And I think it's actually the perfect season to make flying a little bit better when there's an abundance of uh, steel type Pokemon because the Pokemon you mostly tackle uh, or fear is Stone Edge Clot Sire with flying yeah. type Pokemon, uh, maybe Feraligator even. So, one thing I don't like about Peck buff is Altaria, but I like it for the other Pokemon, especially Fero. I would love to see Fero succeed with Fly and Drillon. That's such a good coverage. I, it's um, insane coverage. Fly, Drillon. Yeah, yeah, that's insane I think, coverage. I think Shattled has Nightshade and Sky Attack. I believe Sky Attack, which could be useful. Talonflame, Peck would be niche. Obviously, Incinerate is always better. Um, but it's always clunkier as well. Clunkier. But if you want to cover like Primeape, Machamp. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see your point. Better. You don't like want to be weak to you don't want to be weak to extremely weak to Feraligator. You can just run a stab neutral move as well. Yep. Uh and then Rufflet, of course. Uh I believe what is the run right now? Wing, wing attack. Wing attack, Brave Bird Arrows? and Power Gem, I think. I'm not too sure. Uh I know Brave Bird is one of them. It either has Power Gem or the uh, Rock it has Tomb fly. thing. It rock has fly. Oh, it has fly? So it's just one yeah. fast move away. Yeah, and it's quite it's as fragile as Bombardier, so it would have a little bit of a similar function there. Dartrix, I honestly think if you give it back, instant top meta. What's the Peck, what, what's the C stats on Dartrix? And it has about two two thousand status. Oh, that's sure. amazing actually. Like what like Waldrin is nineteen hundred, so we're technically bulkier than Waldrin, right? I would think it's instant instant meta. Yeah. Um I just don't like Altaria buff. Altaria needs to stay buried. Uh is like, do we want to buff Altaria? But also, can we buff those? You know, I would love to see either of these Pokemon getting a buff. To be honest, it will just make it. Uh, has we have we ever had a Pokemon where like they buffed the fast move and it became an entire different Pokemon? I think we've had. I don't just remember which one was it. Where you just to switch the fast move. Um, I I don't remember. The thing with Altaria though is, I think it is kind of kept in check. As long as Peck doesn't become better than Dragon Breath, Altaria probably wants Dragon Breath either way. Um, okay. Yes, guys, like Moonblast is charge six, right? So oh, okay. they take long yeah. to get to. Yeah, so I don't think it does no Altaria way. as much. Exactly. Yeah. There is no way you would switch it Dragon because the, the main source of damage is, is Dragon Breath, basically. Next one. Stunfist could, could use a buff to Discharge. We talked about buffing Thundershock. This is another solution. Buff Discharge was uh, imposed by Nadquins. Discharge currently is 45 energy for 65 damage. That's just horrible. It's yep. just bad. Like, it is like, terrible. Like Frenzy is 45 for 110? Yep. Uh, 65 is uh, <laughs> it's pathetic. That's pathetic. That's half the damage that a Frenzy would do for the same amount of energy. Um, there's so much more potential on this. And again, I just think for alligators can only succeed this much. It's because the electric types don't really have a chance to shine. Uh, of course, that's also because of Clot Sire. But some of these Pokemon just deserve a little bit more play, in my opinion. I mean, Vika Vault um, is literally one, one, one charge move away from becoming good in Ultra League. Uh, Exolatry is one charge, one, one buff away from becoming meta. Galvantula is just whatever uh charger bug is also an anti-meta pokemon and can benefit from any buff because with the charger bug right now i think i said this in the past is like charger bug only learn one move which is x scissor if you need to throw charge uh, if you need to throw x scissor that means you're in a bad situation if you need to throw discharge yes that's yes. why i always found wiggly tough at worlds a charger bug counter because yes. it goes discharge is just a bad attack exactly um, that's actually smart Zerky tree is hardly a buff because in most against most Pokemon, uh, you just get farmed down, man. Like Kyogre farms you down. Oh it's my! Just, it's not a good Pokemon. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> but it's horrible. an example of a Pokemon that does become slightly better. Yeah. Uh, draining kisses, another another buff. Holy! It's even worse than uh, the other one. <laughs> draining kisses, fifty-five energy, sixty damage. So this one. Uh, if I had to put my money on making a prediction on what gets buffed this season, this is the attack. Um, because there's usually a pattern that Niantic makes 
or follows, which is like give some Pokemon an attack. And they gave Draining Kiss to a couple of Pokemon, like Ribombi, but it's still a garbage attack. So yeah, ex exactly. Oh, uh, I see your point. This one. Yeah, that's good. They they usually give a, a, a new Pokemon a move, and then they buff the move if they they didn't become a meta. Exactly. Damn. Right now, Fairy type Pokemon are like nowhere to be seen besides Azumarill. Yeah. And I think uh, this might do something. I don't know if they will give it to more Pokemon, but uh, you know, Clef Key with Astonish and a Steel and Fairy type Pokemon could be something. Which one is uh, Ribombi? It's the Bug and Fairy type Pokemon. Oh, it's okay. Terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. I as a I, I have yeah, that's an typing right maybe for yeah. some niche uh i want to build one for ultra league the the bug maybe. fairy it's the bug fairy it's a fairy pokemon that loses to giratina as far as i'm correct <laughs> perfect you know but it's just something i expect i think tokit tokitik has a lot of potential yes against like ground plus uh fighting type pokemon. yes and that was a pokemon i think home slice henry used so tactically used i used myself and go same goes to klefki klefki was actually the best safe swab in the halloween cup but not everyone had it so we didn't see that many content around the klefki to like but i think klefki and togetic are like one step away from becoming it klefki has astonish and foul play so technically you have a play into the ghosts and into the poisonous as well and klefki does beat claude sire with some you know like i think one astonish ahead so as a fairy that can do that that's just insane togetic can wall all the ground pokemons all the fighters that are in the meta uh, the, a big problem is azu in the meta it's just a bad matchup mm -hmm. right now Mm -hmm. because you just don't have a charge move it's literally if you win that's because you have fairy wind and you wall the opposing pokemon yep yeah aerial ace is uh even though it was buffed like one or two seasons ago it's not that good still it's still bad and yeah thank you so much martin and we have special shout outs to Drakovich for providing me with the data you guys saw in the beginning uh the website you can find them on twitter you can also go to www.dricovis and you will uh, you will find everything you need about the play pokemon meta adib for sending me the the actual data sheets and teaching me how to use the that, how to transfer that data into more like a readable thing and nadikons for jo joining me today thank you so much sir of course and on the Drake of his website, this also my article so definitely uh, check the website out check inadequance articles on Dricovis. Is it Dracovis or Dracovis? Uh, I call him Dracovis, but uh, Dracovis. <laughs> the people who can read, they, they know how, what it is. <laughs> uh, and yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and thank you so much, uh, Nadikons, for joining me today. Make sure if you like the content to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and go and check Nadikons' socials. I will be leaving his so all of his socials in the description below. Feel free to give him a follow on all of them. Subscribe also uh, if you can. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Peace.